In this video, we're going to use Recover My Files version 5 to recover a USB hard drive that's lost its drive ladder. This is a 75 gigabyte drive which contained approximately 10,000 photos. These were held on an NTFS formatted petition. Once we connect the drive to the computer, it's best to see what the computer identifies. To do this, open Windows Disk Management, right click on My Computer, select Manage and then Disk Management. Here we can see the computer has three drives, a C, D and an E. The problem 75GB drive is disk number 3. We then run Recover My Files. In the first wizard window we get to choose the type of search. Because we're recovering an entire drive, we select the Recover Drive option and click Next. The second window shows us the available drives to search. Our problem drive is hard disk 3. We select the hard disk and click next. The following window allows us to choose the drive recovery options. In almost all cases it's best to try the automatic drive recovery first. Phase 1 of the search identifies the connected drive. It moves quickly into phase 2 of the search which goes down the drive looking for lost petitions. At the end of the second phase, any lost petitions found are rebuilt and shown in the folders view of the results screen. In this case, an NTFS petition was found on the disk, but it contains only two files. The next phase, phase 4 of the search, goes down the disk looking for the header and footer of specific file types. These are returned as lost files and shown in the results screen. Click on these files to preview them while the search is in progress. This shows you that the data is being recovered from the disk. A sequential search of the entire disk can take a long time. However, in a disk recovery, it's usually not necessary to search the entire disk. This is because at the start of the disk is the index to the file and folder structure. Once the file and folder structure has been found, then it can be rebuilt and shown in the search results screen. Here we can see that at approximately block 6 million, the files and folders number has jumped up quickly to 10,434. This is the approximate number of digital photos that are located on this disk. Once the files and folders number has gone up, we can click the skip button and skip the remainder of this phase. Phase 5 of the search is where the file and folder structure is rebuilt and shown in the search results screen. Here we can see now a recovered NTFS petition. When we expand that petition, we see the photographs folder and the original file and folder structure of the drive. Clicking on the folders allows us to view the individual files with their original names. Gallery view gives us a thumbnail of the photos. We can also use the other data views such as by file type. Here we can see that it's possible to go and play a movie and preview the movie in the display window. We can also view many other file types such as PDF. Once we know that the files have been found and can be previewed, we can then save them. To save them you need to purchase a key. Click the Buy button to go to the website to buy a key. The key is delivered immediately, by email and on the web page. Once you have the key, click on the Activate button. This opens the activation window with online or offline options. Enter the key and activate the software. Now that the software is activated, select the files that you want to save by placing a tick in the box next to them. This can be done in any of the data views. As the files are selected, the number of selected files and the size of the data is displayed in the bottom bar of the main screen. You must save files to another drive. So we're going out to our other drive and creating a new folder and calling it my recovered files. Now we press the save button. This opens the save window where we browse to our new folder. 
Once we click OK, the files begin to save into the new folder. Any errors are shown in the summary window below. Now when we go out and examine the contents of the new folder, we can see that the file and folder structure has been saved. It's best to go in now and test the files to be 100% confident that each of the files opens up perfectly.